So, in the previous video I made, about seven months ago I think, where I discussed what happened to each one of the protagonists of the Elder Scrolls games, I might have made a big old mistake when explaining what might have happened to the Dragonborn. Yeah, so I wanted to make this video to fix it. I apologise for the mistakes in that video, making videos is still a learning experience for me after all these years, but I appreciate all you guys who do watch me quite regularly, and forgive my noobish mistakes by giving helpful criticism. So what I'm going to do in this video is to tell you what might be happening with the Dragonborn and actually get it right this time. So without further delay guys, I hope you enjoy and I just want you to know that the Dragonborn approves of you watching this. What? So to understand what happened to the Dragonborn after the events of Skyrim, or what might have happened to them, we need to go over what happened in the final hours of us players getting to play Skyrim from the Dragonborn's perspective. We defeat Alduin in the base game and then move on to the DLC Dawnguard where we defeat the master vampire Harkin. After enjoying the coziness of a house and some adopted children in Heartfire, we then progress onto Skyrim's final DLC, Dragonborn. So the Dragonborn DLC is the final part of the adventure we get to experience alongside the Dragonborn. In it we travel to Sol's time in Morrowind after learning of the return of Mirak, the first dragonborn. It is there that we discover after some nosing about that there are portions of Solstheim's populace that have been enslaved by Mirak. After learning a shout that can purify the monoliths scattered around Solstheim that are controlling the people, the dragonborn uses this shout on all of them to weaken Mirak's reign across Solstheim. Along the journey, the dragonborn once again encounters the Diedric prince Hermias Mora, who tells the dragonborn that to defeat Mirak, they would require the same amount of knowledge that Mirak has. Storn, a member of the Skal tribe of Solstheim, is convinced to transfer his knowledge to the Dragonborn and does so through the powers of Hermias Mora, although Storn dies in the process. The Dragonborn learns of the Bend Will Shout and uses it to take control of Mirak's dragon and fly to Mirak's tower where in one final battle the Dragonborn takes on Mirak. Hermias Mora intervenes eventually in rage at Mirak for the rebellion he has created. In a swift event, Mirak is impaled and all his power is transferred to the Dragonborn who is then transferred transported back to Solstheim. So from this we know what the Dragonborn was doing in their final day since we kinda played them. But what happened to the Dragonborn afterwards? Well thanks to some of the nice people who commented and me actually going and properly completing the DLC again, we know what Hermias Mora transfers all of Mirak's power into the Dragonborn. But what does this mean? Well this is where I did my little bit of research. You see Mirak was trapped in his plane of oblivion serving under Hermias Mora. He was trapped in the sense that both his soul and body had left Mundus, the realm that planet Nern is on, and entered Apocrypha hopefully I pronounced that right, the plane of oblivion that Mirak awaits on. The Dragonborn enters his realm through the black books scattered around Solstheim, and if defeated in the Apocrypha realm, the Dragonborn isn't killed but merely sent back into Nern. Mirak, however, is completely trapped and cannot leave without obtaining the Dragonborn's soul, as he says. So even though the Dragonborn now has all of Mirak's power after Mirak is killed, I do not believe that they are a slave to Hermias Mora. Something must have happened with Mirak in his past that forced him to be a prisoner in the realm. So the connection between Hermias and Mirak is different than the one between Hermias and Dragonborn, even though the same power has flowed through both. Maybe it's a stretch, but it's what I thought of. If it made sense to, I hope it did. If I am wrong, do let me know however, or what you guys think happened. I'm usually wrong about something, so help me acknowledge my mistakes. <laughs> I always felt like there was a couple of plot holes in Dragonborn anyway, but life goes on, I guess. From there though, it's really up to you what else might have happened to the Dragonborn, because truthfully, we will not know until the next Elder Scrolls game more than likely. That's usually how Bethesda sort out their lore. What I do believe is that the Dragonborn will still be alive because I hardly doubt the last in the line with dragon blood is going to keel over from a stroke or something. Hopefully it will be explained in the next few games. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Elder Scrolls related content. Any questions you want answered, leave them in the comment section below. As always, I hope you have a great whole day and I will see you next time.